Good morning, Modern Stutters. If you're watching this video Friday, Saturday, or Sunday of this week when it airs, our pasture to plate whole hog culinary class is going on. I bet you we are having fun and eating good. But let's get on with our Modern Stutter Friday update. Our tomato plants are looking amazing. Once the pasture to plate class is over with, we'll be able to move these outside into the outdoor kitchen and get them in their bigger soil blocks. Hey look, we got a moth. Can you see it? Oh, Figaro sees it. I better move that tote so he don't climb up there today. Right there. Oh. <gasps> what is it? That's it. We have totes full of all of our different stuff for our class going on. Trying to get organized with all of our needs. More equipment in here. Now we had people in the comments talking about the leaves getting burnt being too close to the lights. I haven't seen that happen to our tomato plants yet. I don't know if it's different varieties, like this one right here is, these tomatoes are, they are the subarctic plenty ones that are right here. So, got a couple of burnt leaves there, but for the most part, the tomatoes are doing really good. The peppers, they're doing good. The leaves are starting to burn on them from being too close. I'll have to raise those lights up. Been cleaning up the basement the last few days, and I don't know. Last summer, the summer before, we found an old yoke, and I just put that above the root cellar, bacon cave, maybe we should call it. Pluto, you stay out. Man, that cool bot is working nice. 36. If you haven't seen the video where I installed the cool bot and talk about that system, I'll put a link to that video right here. The bacon's looking nice. The cure looks nice and evenly distributed on top of the pork belly slab. But we do an equilibrium cure, so that way it soaks through the meat and the whole meat gets covered evenly. And over time it just keeps rebrining itself. And man, that looks good. That bacon's gonna be ready to go on the smoker. We get smoked and then we'll be cooking it and doing a side-by-side -side comparison. One of these is cured with nitrites and one of them is cured without nitrites. So we're gonna do a taste test comparison and see if we can tell the difference. We have our prosciutto and our copa from our last pig harvesting class. The copa we should be cutting into this class. And the prosciutto, we still have a, six more months before this will be ready. We got our sheep's casing to make our hot dogs with natural casings. This class, we have some fresh maple syrup that we made, we can use during the class. What are you doing? It's definitely a little chilly in there, but I'm looking forward to the class. We'll be utilizing that walk-in refrigerator. It's gonna be good. We'll be able to hang a carcass or two in there if we need to overnight to chill them. We'll be able to put all of our meats in there and keep everything cold. It's gonna be nice and convenient. We're gonna have some good food. Learning to make hot dogs. Man, this is gonna be a good class. I can smell the tomato plants on my hands. Me and Gina were looking at the tomatoes the other day, we were touching them, and then you could smell the tomatoes in the air, and I said, oh, don't it just smell like summertime? That's what that smell reminds me of, of summer. And with the weather we've been having, oh, that's a, some good memories to be bringing back when it's this cold. Yeah. I feel like we have stuff everywhere for the class. It's just a day away for us. It's here for you. But exciting times. 
We got a whole bunch of herbs and spices over here. Let me show you. For different seasoning, making our own sausage seasons, and ah, man, it's gonna be delicious. If you don't buy your herbs in bulk, it's a huge cost savings, and they're so much fresher this way. In our last update video, I said that was gonna be our last update with the pigs. I lied. I'm sorry. We have one more update with the pigs. They'll be in today's video. Right, Mr. Figaro? Are you ready, Pluto? Let's go bring the pig some leftovers. Good morning. You got a dirty nose. Morning, Rufus. Even the chicken wants in on the action. Come here, chickies. We're not gonna see many of the chicks this morning. Yeah, maybe half. You hiding in here, Andy? You like the cabbage? What are you doing, Andy? Moved a bunch of stuff around, cleaned up a lot of the stuff, getting ready for the class. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to that video right here. One of the things I did is I moved a big part of the snowbank that was here. We have some ice that's left. It actually melted pretty good yesterday. A little bit over here, which we need to get to this area right there because this is where we can, we'll have our pigs hanging and our scalder tank will be underneath. This is where we do the scalding and scraping and cutting the carcasses in half, and getting them ready to butcher. So hopefully, let's finish this melting, and it'll be nice over here. I gotta finish cleaning up inside and Get the chairs out of here and move the grill where the kabota is. But we got a bunch of firewood, a bunch of kindling, and a bunch of logs. That way we should have plenty of wood to keep our wood cook stove going during the class if it gets cold and to do some cooking on. Got our pots hung up, man. I am pumped up and excited for the class. Oh, there's more chickens out in the pig pasture. I 
must have found all the food scraps. You girls sharing with the chickens? No? They just taking them? I weighed the pigs yesterday with a tape measure and they are good size. If you haven't had a chance to watch that video and you want to know how much the pigs weigh, I'll put a link to that video right here. Right girls? You're doing good. I'm going to go get you your water. Let me in. Get you some fresh water. Clean that out for you first. Here. Chickens are getting pretty friendly with you, huh? Yeah. It's amazing how friendly the chickens and the pigs are getting. I'm surprised that they're both near each other that much. But it's pretty neat. They work in symbiotic relationship with each other. The chickens pick up after the pigs. The pigs make a mess for the chickens. So it's a win-win. Let's check on the chicks and see how they've been doing. You guys are getting huge. Well, I hope most of you, are, if not all of you, are girls. I'm sure there's a few roosters in here, but I don't know if we need any more roosters here. Huh. They are doing awesome. I'm really happy with the chicks we got. They're Novagins and Easter egg layers. We got them from freedomhatchery.com. I'll put a link in the description down below for them. And coming this week, next week, we should be getting our Freedom Ranger meat birds from them. Oh man, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good year. We'll be eating good, learning how to cook some more delicious food. Hot dogs, chicken, BLTs. Man, you can't go wrong there. I feel sorry for vegans and vegetarians. Man, they don't know what they're missing out on. I'm telling you, it's good for the environment, it's good for your soul, it's good for everything. Thanks for coming along with me today. It's been fun. I am getting cold. I believe it's 20 degrees out right now and it said it feels like 14. And the, it's right, it's pretty darn cold out. So, we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. No need to worry about us. We're going to be having fun right here at our pasture-to-plate whole hog culinary class. Bye. <laughs>